we've got a bit further it's sunny today and it's not uh, not a very bright day so I've done a bit more up here as you can see I've uh, milked that corner up now and put a, a farm building up there uh, it's all wet of course because I want to just lay it all and I put plenty of underbrush as in woodland scenic underbrush there the different colours uh, we've got some static grass down but it's all to dry as yet I think it won't look so bad now I'm just going to put some static grass around here on banking I'll show you but uh, I've put those higher building on on that first part there I know it's a right blinking mess but there you go but uh, I think if I can get this site finished and then uh, move up there and, and concentrate on that end I put cover my tracks up there with a bit of tape because it's all to ballast and there to paint as yet of course anyway I'll just uh, I'll just put some PVA on this this is the easy way it's I should say about 70% PVA 30% uh, water of course I just squeeze it on, get a brush and all they do their own, you can buy the ready made stuff for this but it's the easiest, cheapest way is this just to show you, that's quick I've got my, my machine plugged in I was there plugged in, it's battery but uh, it's the Pico one but I, I put a screw and I know you can lay that uh, toggle or whatever it is you can lay it in the PVA it does the same but this is how easy it is switch on and then and of course once it can you see me on it yep. once that dries like it uh, should be all right that's the static grass uh, this is I think this is three millimeters I use up to six millimeters uh, it's getting a bit long then you want two three four millimeters just to show you that anyway and then uh, don't forget I always do it some air spray you want the extra extra strong hold let's see extra firm hold just spray some other when you've got it on I have to make that like it does with Wimmy's hair, makes it stand stand on end, doesn't it then? Right, well I'm not going to show you doing all that. Uh, I'll do all this and then I'll come back and show you how far I've got. Because it's a little bit of paint again then, won't it, that road and everything, because it'd be covered in grass. But anyway, we have fun, don't we? Those Pico ones are probably the cheaper of the ready-made type of... Uh, special ones we always say there's a dear one uh, 140 pound uh, but you, you, this is just as good I've been using that up on that side it's what we call tea strainer type uh, it's just works same it's got battery and handle you can get them like I think I got this on eBay for about 12 quid they're new not second hand like but you buy them 10 15 pound and, and it works just as just as well probably uh, but that Pico is quite good, I think they're about £40-45 pound now. Uh, there's some bigger ones as I say, but it works fine right, for what I've got. As you can see, it looks a lot better now with that uh, static grass on, doesn't it? I probably want to, I don't know whether you realise, but what I'd, you really, it, to start with, you need to paint your, um, your banking, uh, whatever it is, you know. Um, you know, I had those plaster sheets on type. Well, you paint that, you can colour your green, put a bit of brown in, or have you, and then put some ordinary scatter, scatter grass. Uh, see, I've got some here. That's fine turf, is that one, but any any fine scatter grass, lay that down first, let that set, and then put your static grass on top, and you'll have a good finish then. Uh, I've got to wait for this all to dry, but I'll show it better then later on during the week when it's uh, when it's dry and, and looking half decent I should say but uh, as I say it's amazing what you can do with it, with all the uh, stuff that you can get these days for your layouts 
it's what I enjoy most, of course, doing is the scenery. Uh, I should have got some new back uh, scenes, but I've gone over with a paintbrush there, but yeah, it doesn't look so bad. I might get some more for lower down. Another good tip is, like, now when I've put my wall in up, I know it needs a bit of paint on it, use a buffer bottle. These notch buffer bottles are pretty good. Uh, put your, I've got spring summer grass in there, and you just buff it in, put your PVA down first, like, and then just buff it in like that, and it'll cover up your joints there. It's uh, not in areas where you want to just cover up these buffer bottles. Hang on a minute, it's hard to focus that, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a, a little bottle, plastic bottle with and put your grass inside and then as it says as it named puffer bottle you puff it onto your onto your whatever well i we'll no. just thought it'd be just a bit of a, an update on on this uh revamp over say on this side of my layout well, i've got this far now i've uh, i put the static grass down um i put the houses back in, the shops and what have you. Electrics need coupling up yet to put lights on. Uh, I know a lot of think, well, there's an a lot of difference. Well, there is, I've swapped them around anyway, but uh, as I say, from the last video, you've got the one suspension bridge. And then I've put some of those, uh, well, a few, quite a few were asking me, those back scenes, where do I get them from? Well, I'll just show you. Just hang on, they show up better on this side, don't they? But yeah, them's the ones from. <clears throat> I just got some more, well, one pack from Gage Master. Those are the ones you get three, three in a pack, and it's about about eight pound, eight pound fifty. Most uh, outlets sell them, but they're made by Gage Master. If you Google it, you'll see them. And what I've done is, I know, like a bonus it there, but I put two up on that side there. Unfortunately, the same as what's on the other side, but you won't see both sides at once, will you? <laughs> uh, I'm afraid I didn't make a right good job with that one. There's a few wrinkles in it. But anyway, I haven't decided what I'm doing with this, this lot yet. But, uh, and of course, I've got. All oh, this this ends to do. It's just up to the up to the, where the shops are there. That's as far as I've got. This is all to be redone now. And I'll just run a couple of trains round, and then uh, I'll leave it for a couple of weeks, and let's hope I can get it all nicely done then. And I say I haven't decided yet. I know I asked for suggestions last time, and it was like, why don't you step your houses, etc. Well. What I've done is I built that hillside in that corner now, as you see, and I put that farmhouse in just to give it a bit of, I don't know what the word is, but it gives it a bit of a <laughs> difference in height, we'll say then. I want some more back scenes for that corner. I've had to use my paintbrush, but uh, I'll get some sky ones. It's not easy to get all the stuff just now, as you know. I've searched for different things and can't, you know, how to stock, how to stock, got to order. Anyway, I'll run a couple of trains and then we'll call it a do for now. Put that A4 on me. We've got two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven coaches on. I know somebody said, well, you've still got a scope. I, I, I know I have a, a gradient there, but it's only a slight one. It's maximum to one inch. I turn the sound down on that loco and see if he's, it needs turning back up again now, doesn't it? Like I said last week, the main idea was to get sort of like these general, gen, gentle curves on the way out. I know one thing I was asked once before was what do I do my roads with? Well, it's just paint. Unfortunately, I've got a couple of marks on here, I start to go over it. But that's just a grey paint and a, and a black one. And then for the white lines, I just use these uh, paint pens. Uh, I think a lot of stationers sell them. They are £2.50, I think it was, something like that. They're ideal for that.
You can see some coaches on there, no problem at all. And that's on a steam walk up. Diesels and everybody's a problem of course. Nice gentle curves on there now. Right, I think I'll wrap that up and next one I show you, let's hopefully I've got this end, all this down this end done. I don't expect it to I've got to get that up and running, haven't I? <laughs> Just doing I'll probably one of my last videos I do with the garden this year. It's uh, 21st of September now. It's still got plenty of bloom. It said like us from Wednesday this week. It's going to turn a lot cooler, so no doubt a lot will finish. And as I say, still got a nice lot of bloom here. I'm going to go show with it daily this year.